Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, y'all already know what time it is. It is Queen yeah. Sugar Time, season six, episode three. You would come back different. That's how I read it. <laughs> when I read the title, I was like, oh, you would come back differently. Listen, this week, I'm not going to say it was given what it needs to be gave. It was an okay episode. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it didn't bring but the fire that I thought it was going to bring. They did not. But we got yeah. some, we have some, because we got some answers to some of the questions that we had. Yeah. And, mm. uh, <laughs> I'm happy to announce that our Prosper is really okay. Hey. Because there was a whole lot of speculation about whether or not last week was like a dream sequence. Whether Ralph Angel was like dreaming or whatever. Because it kind of... The end of it did kind of leave you with that. Is this real, real or is yeah. it not? Because Ralph Angel was supposed to took his tail down to the pharmacy to exactly. get some pills. And he ended up at the hospital. And then somebody in the comments brought up a good point. He's in... Ralph Angel's in the hospital... With not nail mask on. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even yeah, I didn't even pick up on that one last week. Mr. Prosper yeah. fell and hit his head and we don't have not one bandage. So it can, it did kind of give you that mm, like a dream sequence, yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. But this week, we <clears> start <throat> off where Mr. Prosper is coming home. Yeah. And he's in his home and you know, everybody is there to meet and greet him. And you can see immediately that Billy was feeling some kind of way. Because Mr. Prosper comes alive when he's around and the, the border loans. Yeah, he like, did. that's his lifeline. <laughs> like, he even told him, he said, I wish that I could see y'all behind those masks. Man, see your smiling yeah. faces. He told Aunt Vi, listen, I'd be much better if you had a piece of that pecan pie for me. <laughs> and she said, I already know you better than you know yourself. <laughs> I got you. So Billy was over there just telling, and I like how Charlie always has that thing where she can step out and check on the other person real mm -hmm. quick. So Charlie was like, you know, Billy, are you okay? And Billy pretty much told her, said, I wish that I could connect with him the way that he connects with y'all. And, and Charlie was like, but the entire time, you know, the Chicago thing, he always talked mm -hmm. about you. And mm -hmm. and she said, but yeah, and when I'm with him, all he talks the about is, is the border laws. And yeah. I was like, sounds so I, like that whole thing where you have black men that don't know how to communicate how they feel. True. So everybody and, else knows how you <laughs> feel except for the person that really needs to know how you feel. Right. And I was hoping that this episode, that it was going to give us a little bit of history in their relationship. It as far as especially best going well, especially going back to what he told Ra that you need to love your daughter better than I love my daughter. So I'm like, where did I you where, where did you forsake her at? And I'm thinking what you thinking, but I'll I'll let you get there. But yeah. Yeah. So let's go ahead and move forward. So we have Aunt Vi in Hollywood over at the diner. You know, she's still doing her 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 um box lunches, box dinners, doing what she gotta do. And Hollywood is starting to catch on that. Why is it that there's so, so much, much food in this goddamn box? That's not accounted for. And every time I say something, you kind of just send me off to uh -huh. a chore. So once again, he questioned it. She said, you need to go down there, pick up some stuff from the real for the real spot. Pretty much get on out my way. Hollywood knew exactly what it was that she was getting ready to do. Uh -huh. So he stood in the cut. And he watched her take some money out of her. We can't say she was stealing because it's her no, own her, money. Yeah. But watched her take some money, money that we know that they owe every dime is accounted for in this pandemic when you were a small business owner. Taking money that you really probably can't afford to take, put it in your, well, she didn't put it in her pocket, she put it in her thing. So he was like, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. what's up with that? So she thought she had got away, y'all. Yeah, she did. She come out the back door with her box, putting it in her trunk, and Hollywood over in the cut, just like an old country man. You gonna tell me what's going on? I thought after last week that she would have learned. Yeah, would have learned and at least came clean mm -hmm. about what it was that she was doing. It yeah. still makes no sense to me, but anywho, <clears throat> it don't. It don't. Yeah. So the next scene we saw, we saw that Unvi actually took Hollywood to the motel to meet old girl and her son. And old girl was, you know, really just pretty much telling by her the history of why she left her husband. Like for years, he's been using her as a punching bag. Mm. 
it escalated from a pop in the mouth to a fist in the face. And she was like, you know what? I've built the tolerance up over the years. I could take it. I could handle it. When he put his fuck, gave, you know, um, let out his frustrations on me, I'm, I, I was prepared to take it. It is what it is. But when he started touching my son. He said that was the last straw. That was the last straw. And she was like, I had to get my baby up out of there. But the whole time, <clears throat> the little boy is playing with um, Hollywood. And Hollywood is having a good old time yeah, with the son. Is. So she's telling our Vi, you know, I haven't seen my son this happy in a very long time. So now you see that there's going to be this, like, long-term bond between all of them. Yeah. So after that was over and said and done, Hollywood pretty much checks on Vi about how she moves and how unsafe that was. What if you were in there and her husband, husband came, came back? Yeah. And I don't know where you are. And so then they got on this. See, this is what Unvi does that does piss me off. She like, yeah. If you check her with something, she, got she go check, check you, you with something. something. So he was like, you have this, uh, this ability to help people, but put yourself at in risk. a situation where you put yourself at risk. Yeah. So then she said, so... It's not like you're not taking that you're taking care of yourself too. You're taking that by taking care of everybody else at the real I spot. I said that is not, that's, <laughs> not taking I, care of yourself. I wasn't comparing apples was and like, oranges, man. That's different. But he yeah. he felt what she was saying because he hasn't dealt with his mom's death. You know, every time he started to really think about it, he get to drinking and whatnot. So he really isn't dealing with it. But at the same time, it's still different. You putting yourself. <laughs> In the middle of a bad relationship, and you don't know where this dude is and what he's capable of. Uh, the only yeah. story, backstory you got on this dude is what she is telling you. And we know in relationship, people always tell you their side. I believe her. <laughs> I believe her, but it, but it's probably a little bit more to the story than that. Yeah. So... Time to have this public meeting for the farmers because they want to get this oh, money. They, piss me off. they want to get this relief <laughs> check and whatnot. So Billy was actually invited to sit in for her father and to well, Billy made it known that I don't give a buck about y'all's. I'm here to make sure that my dad's paperwork is fine, which I, I'm with you. But in but in the process, if I can help some people along the way by default. It's gonna be what it is. Nova said, "Don't trust that." Don't witch. don't trust them. And, and, <laughs> and Charlie and um, Charlie and um, Ralph Angel was like, "Y'all used to be like sisters. Like I ain't got time to get in the middle <laughs> yeah, of y'all." Yeah, Ralph said, "I don't want me caught up in y'all beef. I just want my check. <laughs> I just want my check." So when they get into get a little further into um, where they were gonna be meeting at, we see <clears throat> the sheriff. So Charlie, being the person that ain't scared of nobody, sheriff. What the hell Mrs. you Bordelon. doing him, basically? <laughs> like, yeah. So he pretty much was, they used that reverse racism thing. It's a public meeting. I pay taxes. Why can't I be here? Or is it only for the black farmers? So then, of course, they made their way into this meeting. Eavesdropping at best. So now they're in there listening to all of the grievances of the black farmers and now they have a rebuttal for everything that the black farmers has mm -hmm. to say. This sounds like reparations to me. Where, where my check at? So then he go no was like, no, reparations would be the trillions of dollars no. that no, we no, have no, been no. missing out of our community for years while y'all build your wealth and pass it down generation to generation. And he was like, ha ha, did that what the this, yeah, it is right there. They got nowhere. No. No checks in a meeting six weeks ago. Um, uh, uh, in, in six weeks. Ralph Angel said, I ain't got that, six weeks. That's one of the things that, like, just so pissed me off about our system. It's that when it comes time for you to owe them money, they want it today. Right now. Yes, and if you, don't, well, and if you don't give it to them today, they attach a pen, penalty onto it. Hello. But if they owe you some money, it's always, uh, we have weeks. some complications. It's a little bit. We got to find the funding. Yeah. And, or, or, you know, we got to do a little bit more research before we can get you that money. <laughs> And it's always gonna be six weeks later. These farmers are broke. They ain't got right this now. is their livelihood. But that's by design. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh like yeah. They they say, yeah. Like they say, most people are a paycheck away from poverty. Mm -hmm. They know that if they keep on delaying these farmers, these farmers are gonna do things to put their land in jeopardy. And then they come in and swoop it up. So that's why we say you gotta have yourself a nice old savings account mm -hmm. so you can catch yourself when stuff like that happens. <laughs> 
can can we say amen? Amen. amen. <laughs> so Charlie calls Micah. Micah is in a really bad spot. Like somebody get him into a therapy session immediately. Yeah, because he yeah. So he was walking around and I said, Is Michael drunk? But no, he was just really in a bad spot. So when she called him, he answered the phone. Yeah, what? Yeah, what? <laughs> she was like, I raised you better than answer the phone like that. He said, I ain't recognize the number. I said, okay, come again. So she's reminding him, listen, don't forget about the dinner that we're having at Unvised tonight with your dad. He's going to be coming and being in attendance. I don't know if Micah realized that Davis East was sitting there listening to the conversation on speakerphone. But it needed to be heard. Yeah. So Micah pretty much was like, Mom, it's not that I don't really like this situation. So I want you I to be, want happy, you to be happy, but I'm afraid that you're going to get hurt. Yeah, I don't want to see you hurt like the like you hurt before. Yeah, he's Can't like... Can't take it no more. Us or the family cannot so, yeah. take you getting hurt at that magnitude again. So you can see Davis West wheels turning like, I really got to come correct yeah. with this one. Like, there is no room for error. There's no margin... Of forgiveness in this, you are gonna do it right, or you are not gonna do it yeah. at all, or you are gonna be out there in that field with them, with the um, with them workers that die in that flood. <laughs> Cause we ain't got time to play with him. I mean, Grave gonna be real big, or he's a real big guy. The, the question is, do we trust him to be the guy that he say he is at this point, or is it gonna be a curveball? Where is his daughter? That too. <laughs> <laughs> we working up all this stuff and we see nothing about the, the intertwining of this daughter that he inherited when her yeah. mama died. Like, what's going on? Yeah. But we, we, we digress. So, we end up at the dinner, right? I said, okay. Charlie was there with the women before Davis and Michael got there by themselves. I said, okay, good, good move. Yeah. You go in and you you kind of just smooth, move everything, smooth over. everything yeah. over. And then you let, you know, let the men come in and do what they do. So when Davis East, somebody say his name Davis West. He's Davis East, East now because he changed. Because he changed. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so they come in and all of the men are happy to see Davis. Like yeah. they're like, it feels like we have our brother back. You know, they talked about how Ernest always bragged on him mm -hmm. and how he just loved him and how... Then it was <laughs> real black. You know, always, we don't, you know, we didn't say nothing about, you know, nothing about glad that they back together in love with each other. Man, I'm glad to get the hookup back. You remember them tickets, man, front row seats? Said Prosper, they were sitting oh, yeah. up there like kings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine them course side sitting oh, up there? Oh, Lord. Baby, <laughs> I know they had them loafers shining. Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. So then it came time for Nova. Nova kind of gave him that. Hello, Davis West. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then Aunt Vi. Hey, Davis. Man. But it went off. It, it smoothed over way yeah, it went, better. It went way smoother than I thought. I thought at least Aunt Vi was going to give it to him. I did too. So she surprised but... me that she didn't give it to him. Yeah. She 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 held her own. Yeah. Aunt Vi did piss me off with this one. But it would have probably kind of been worth it if she did it though. This would have been one time that her being that way wouldn't have pissed us off. Yeah, at least letting him know what it is, what it is. Like, we accepting you back. But we got to jump in. But if you come with that BS again, yeah. you, it's, it's over. Yeah. <laughs> so, Davis found it fit to apologize. And I think that that was necessary. Oh, yeah. Oh, he yeah. sat there and he apologized to the family for breaking their trust. Mm -hmm. And he explained that he doesn't come from a family. So when he came there, he gained an entire family that now he feels like he let down and he hurt. And he apologized for it. But what he's going to do going forward is trying to rebuild their trust, love on Charlie, and be the man that he should have been from the get-go. And I and I know I was just, I was just playing yeah. around when I said, do I believe that he that he really changed? I think this is really him. I, I think a lot of people get into fame and get popular and don't know how to handle it. That's true. And so you got you know all these uh, women coming at you like that while you playing ball, and they on the road for months at a time. So and yeah, I, it's not true. no excuse now. It's not it's, it's not no excuse for it. you. Still gotta you know when you made those vows. It's it said for better or for worse, and that you're gonna be faithful and all that good stuff. 
Uh, I don't care how many women make it past the locker room. You're still supposed to say no. But a lot of people ain't taught how to handle that. So. Yeah. But just think about it like, even like, we're not even going to talk about NBA status. Let's just talk about when YouTubers grow and yeah. they start to change and mm-hmm. you, you start to see them. They used to be humble and this, that, interact with their people. And then next thing you know, they too big head and they cursing everybody out every five minutes or the dude that they was with. When they first started, he ain't no longer good enough. He got switched you know out. What I'm saying? Or, or vice versa. Or vice versa. The yeah. woman that he was with, now all of a sudden he don't he don't have the status up. So it 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 goes with that pressure of popularity and yeah. stardom and it's people, no man, it's really no it's no manual for it. No, and people boosting your ego and it's uh. easy to do because people will lick you up and down. But I told somebody once before, like another YouTuber. Because they were talking about, you know, our growth and stuff like that. And I was like, don't get it twisted. People will love you today and you yeah. say one thing that they don't, don't like, like and, and they uh, will uh-huh. cancel your A tomorrow. Yep. Don't get caught up in it. After do what follow, it is. After following you for years. Yeah, and I said, yeah. do what it is that you love. Uh-huh. Be your authentic self and just leave it at that. Don't allow any of that to penetrate here because that skit will ruin you. Yeah. So So I said all to say I believe that Davis West East. <laughs> Davis East was a good guy caught up in a bad situation and he didn't know how to handle it. Yeah. And he and he screwed up his family. Now, Royally. now Yeah. So now he just he trying to fix it. So yeah. I so I can respect that, bro. Yeah. So we're gonna hit on this real quick because I don't wanna give it too much because I know it's gonna come up later. But Nova received a picture Pretty much with a target on her head. I was like, oh. And I'm like, Nova, when are you going to start telling your people that this is happening to you? Because have you noticed that no one knows that this is happening to Nova? Yeah. So if something were to happen to you, there's like, there's not like a trail of evidence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But anyway, so now we get into the real spot, right? It is time for it to finally do what it was designed to do. A vibe comes through. She sets up for him. And she was like, all right, Hollywood, you got this. So she goes on to have a ladies night with the ladies while he does what it is that he has to do. So um, Ralph Angel had invited one of his dudes. His name was Theo. Did y'all see that Hollywood wasn't feeling Theo was, from the was, door? Yeah, he yeah. He was like, who was this, Ralph Angel? Oh, his, this Theo. His sermon was on point when it came down to Theo. He said, where you know Theo from? He oh, said, we know him from, from prison. prison. He was like, okay. Okay. Any friend that rises, a friend of ours, yeah. but I'm going to keep a good eye on it you. It took everything in him to say that, though. <laughs> yeah, so we have Prosper on FaceTime because Mr. Prosper said, even though I am in the sick and shut-in, right now I'm going to be there some kind of way because I painted this motherfucker and I want to be in that number. But when Billy said, Daddy, I need you to come eat this steamed chicken. I said, what is steamed chicken? I know what steamed chicken is. But I don't know nobody that's oh. black that eats steamed chicken. Uh, unless y'all y'all eat steamed chicken, I, we eat broiled chicken. We eat fried uh, stewed chicken. So that's what I was thinking about was stewed chicken. She said steamed. When I think about steamed chicken, I'm like just just white chicken. Just white chicken that's in the pan, just just steaming, and you just say here no salt, no pepper, no no portrait seasoning, no accent that we used to use in the in the country. We'll use that no more. It's MSG. Yeah. <laughs> it did wake up the food flavor, though. It did. <laughs> it sure did. But, um, yeah, so we get on, and, you know, it's kind of hard to crack men and get them to open up and stuff. So Hollywood had this thing that says, you get no yak until you, you start, start yakking. yakking. So, of course, Michael was like, well, if you give me some yak, yak I'll, I'll start this. yakking. Um. Do we know if the men opened up or not? Not really, but Hollywood was mm. actually able to open up about his mom and things like that. So then we have the scene over there with the females. I ain't even give a darn what was going on over there with the men after the females got to talking. Baby. So we started to get a little bit of history, right? <laughs> about this guy doing belly. So we have Nova over there. She's still in her ish about Billy. Said, don't trust her. Don't trust her. And Dalma <laughs> was like, what is going 
on. Yeah. And Charlie was like, she was, she's a part of the family. Like, y'all were like sisters. Like, what is going on? And even Darla was like, yeah, Ralph Angel was like, Billy is like the third sister. Like, what, how what did y'all get yeah. here? So then Aunt Vi said, yeah. Yeah, she and got me good. She got me good, too. <laughs> Almost broke me. Uh-huh. Around here messing with Jimmy Dale. I said, said huh? I said. <laughs> we had to pause like, what? I, said, Did she I didn't. I didn't expect for her to say that one. I said, when, when, when what? And she was like, I'm used to him around here chasing skirts of everybody else. But that one right there was like family. That yeah. thing almost broke me. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> now, hindsight being 2020, we, we talked about this um one day. We was talking about this on Facebook, me and my friends one day. And was talking about how back in the day being with somebody way older than you was cool. But now when you look, look at it, they were praying on you back in those days. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like. It was nothing for us to be 16 and our boyfriends was like 30. Uh-huh. And then you look at it and be like, that was so predatory. Yeah. So but back then you thought it was cool. Mm-hmm. But because your, your narrow mind and your undeveloped brain couldn't comprehend what the hell was happening and whatnot. Because it was an ego trip for school. Be like, yeah. It was. Yeah, I ain't, they I ain't dating y'all school. little 15, 16-year-old, 70-year-old, 70 year I'm dating me a full-grown man. Yep. Picking you up from school. They got a car. They got mm-hmm. a house. They got their own job. They you know, ain't no car. No house. <laughs> so then we go. go Wait. Back. So you mess around with thirty years old and they ain't got no house? Nah, they ain't had no house. So they're, they're young, dumb, and but full that of mine. Like it's a young, dumb, full of water. Blah blah blah. <laughs> yeah, so um, back over there with the men, they close out their meeting and whatnot. So Theo was like, um, Ralph Angel was like. You good? Like, you look like you got a lot on your mind. And the only thing that could keep a man looking like that is money problems or female mm-hmm. problems. And Ralph was like, I ain't got no female problems. Matter of fact, I got a whole baby on the way, so I'm good mm-hmm. on that front. So he pretty much told him that, you know, I'm having financial issues. Waiting on issues. that check. So old boy hits him with the proposition like, hey, I know how you can make some money. It, it ain't like it's illegal, illegal. I just need you to drive like a getaway car while we take some stuff from the Landry's. He was like, oh, I know them people. No, he was like, oh, no, 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 no. I said, Ralph, you better not do that skit. Y'all already in some skit with them. Nah, don't steal from them. Please don't. So then old boy hits him with the, <clears throat> well, you know what? Let me go ahead and give you a gift for the baby. I said, no, don't take that, Ralph. Because that's, that's a, a down, down that's payment. That's a down payment for that job. That is a down payment. That's a down payment. For him to come back later and be like, you remember when I... Yeah, gave you that, what you call it? Now I need a favor. I helped you out with your baby. That's why I'm so leery of taking stuff from people. Yeah. <laughs> I got an issue with it, yo. Yeah. People be like, I want to bless you. The only time we take stuff from people publicly is like our birthdays. Yeah. On, on the channel and whatnot. And then we... Mm-mm. And then I'm uncomfortable with that. But sometimes you got to let, let the Lord bless you. Yeah, but, I, I can't stand nobody to give to you to control you. Mm-mm. Yeah, that drive me off the wall. Nah. Yeah, so I'm like, Ralph Angel. Mm. So then go back over there with the females. They get the really just vibe and the wine is kicking in. Well, not for Darla. And Darla was like, I feel like I'm getting a new beginning. Like, I feel like I'm getting a do-over. And I don't want to mess it up. So, you know, they're, and they're talking to Charlie about being in love again. And she said, I'm kind of almost in love again. But I'm in my feelings I'm in now. my feelings now. So... Then Darla was still talking about it, and she said, but I feel like something is coming. coming. And so, um, Bob was like, oh, uh, no, 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 that's what they want us to think. No, 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 no. No, 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 we're yeah, not going to let, what she said, I'm not going to yeah. let. We, we say, I'm not going to let the system do that to us. I'm, we're going to trust Joy. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to trust We're going to trust then Joy or something yeah. like that. The way she said it was phenomenal, but. Yeah. So I but that said, is true though. It's yeah. like when something is too good. Yeah, you always be like in the back that. of your mind, you're looking for something bad is that's going to happen. Like okay, all this good is happening, or you know, or it could be the programming. You know, you know, you taught coming up that before the, before you get a blessing, you always got to go through the storm. Right. Why we always got to go through the storm to get a blessing? Why can't God just just bless us? Because He do without the storm. He do. But anti hoodles. <clears throat> so. Back over there at the house, I guess the next day or day after, whatever, we see Ralph Angel and Darla 
with this lady coming out the house. Well, it's the doula. And remember I told y'all last week, I was like, the midwife and the doula are different. But I said, I'm not going to get into the specs so who does what. Because I know there's going to be a thousand people trying to correct me in the comments. But she made but, it plain and simple. But she made it plain, plain and simple. simple. Yeah. The midwife is more skilled. More, more the medical more, side. More the medical side for the baby. I'm going to be here to support you. Yeah. And they had no idea that they needed a midwife. They thought that the doula did everything. everything. Yeah. And she I mean, that's like, what I would have thought. Nah. <laughs> so, so, you know, Dollar came out with the ooey like, this, this, sound, be, this sound expensive. This sounds expensive. <laughs> so the doula was like, you know, with insurance, you know, they'll start to, they'll you know, that's some, some of it. it. They're looking at her like, what is your Man, man, insurance don't cover nothing no more, man. No. Y'all like that, man, on y'all job? I'm over it. <laughs> Back in the day, man, you had good insurance. You go to 25. the doctor. Yep, pay your little copay, and you don't get no uh, follow-up bill in the mail. Now, you go to the doctor, you be sitting there, man, I hope there ain't a big bill coming in the mail after this appointment. Uh-huh, you be opening that bill like, fuck! <laughs> and even, you know, we got the HSA, and even with that, you know... Yeah. And then you be like, darn, I need to add some more money yeah, to this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't make no guy do assist. The balance getting low. So now you see Ralph Angel's mm. wheels are starting to turn about the lack of finances like, nah, to nah. give Dala the birthing experience that she wants mm -hmm, and that she no. deserves. And she's even telling Ralph Angel, I, at this point, we can go to the hospital, hospital yeah. and have this baby. We don't need to go into debt right now you know, having the baby. And yeah. we ain't even taking care of the baby yet. Right. Ralph Angel is looking. And I'm like, this is don't not. You, don't you go to call, old boy, man. I'm mm. telling you. That's going to, nah. Ain't even worth it. Yeah. So over there at the school, we see um, Micah. Um, Micah sees a security officer running. I don't know where he was running to, what was happening or whatnot. But Micah has a panic attack. Like his PTSD, pow, yep. had a full-on panic attack. And leave it up to old boy from last week's episode. He was there to teach Don't him bring how to him back. breathe. Yeah. Breathe slowly. You know, control your breathing. It's okay. Telling him what's happening. or And even asking him, have you ever had this before? And Mike, Micah needs to be in therapy yeah. immediately. I totally agree. Because he is being triggered right, left, and center. But you want to know what's really bothering me about this freaking show right now? Why is it two episodes after Mr. Prosper was violated and we not talking about it? Yeah. Like we we're not talking about it. Like they're treating it like he went into the hospital because he like he fell out his own steps or something. Yeah. It's like it, it didn't happen. And we just glad you survived. Yeah. No, when we gonna get them? We in. <laughs> I'm ready. Hey, we got some money for the lawyer. I don't need him. Hey, we hey we can put up a GoFundMe for that. Hello. Hey. Hello. Save them. Tr no, my. But anyway. So, this is where it gets good, y'all. Woo. Nova goes over there to Mr. Prosper's house. Because yeah. she wants to drop off some leftovers that Aunt Vi sent over there for him, right? Billy said, oh, he's asleep right now. So, Nova said, well, here you go. Can you take that to him when he wakes up? Nova's getting, re Nova's getting ready to walk away. And Billy was like, so we just not going to talk about it. Like, we not, we not going to deal with this. This is how we going to be. We just going to be mad and angry at each other. So Nova was like, because you know what you did. You know what you did. And my father has not looked at me the same since you I'm did like, what you did. like, darn, what you do, what you say to her daddy to make her him not look at you the same. So this is when Billy hit us with the... And you don't think that I should be upset or mad because you abandoned your best friend when she needed you the most? And she was like, what are when? you talking about? Talking about like, when yeah. did I abandon you? She was like, Jimmy Dale. And she was like, that's my unvised man. And she said, and none of you all ever question me being 17, 18 years old with this 30-some-year-old man. And he's going around telling everybody how good I am in bed. And y'all never question it. Never asked me a question. Never said anything like something may not be right here. So she was like, you know what? I tried to tell people. I tried to tell my father. But none of it worked. 
Nobody wanted to believe me. Nobody. I said, oh, shh. So, yeah. So, Billy said, you know what I did? I didn't want you to have a relationship with your father because I didn't have one with mine. So, mine is messed up. Yours is messed up. You want to know what this hell? She told Ernest that she was worried about Nova losing her soul <laughs> because she was gay. Yeah. And y'all know that generation back then, then? Oh, yeah. That's, that's a big what? deal back then. Yeah. You get, like we said on the on Like power. on Power, yeah. With well, Uncle Marvin and um, Juke. Yeah. You can have 15, 11 babies on your wife and on your side piece, and you still going to make it into heaven. But don't you be gay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They oh. got a special place for you in hell, according to the church folk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, Billy pretty much put it out there that Jimmy Dale was raping her. Yeah. And taking advantage of the fact that she was young and nobody around her questioned it. And she said, so she made it a point that when she got out of school, she was leaving this town and she was leaving it for good. But before she left, she said, I went and I had a conversation with your father and I think that he believed me. But that's when I decided to ruin your relationship with him. Because if I couldn't have one with my father... You not gonna get away with, it. and I'm like, well, God, don't. But she was like, you were vow with it, like you were intentional about this. You intentionally messed, messed up, up my yeah. relationship with my father over something that had nothing to do with me. Yeah, I'm like, dang, that ran deep. Yeah, I said, I just say, okay. I just hope, I just hope that she's telling the truth. I think she is. I hope she's telling the truth. I think Cause the way, I guess because I still see the way that she came on the scene all wrong and coming at them all sideways. Which but I could, that's why. Which I could see, you know, kind of see why from that standpoint. But Yeah. So, yeah. I'm like, where do we go from here? And she was like, you're violent. Never question me. It was just like, oh, she's sleeping with my... I'm like, whoa. Interesting. So... Now we have hashtag black love never dies. <laughs> and Charlie and Davis East decided that, you know what? We're going to write our future yep. and our history. And we're going to control the narrative. Nobody's going to have to figure out what's going on. We're about to post we're about this to, selfie. Uh -huh, we're going to tell them ourselves. And we're going to tell them ourselves. So let the chips fall where they may. I'm like, this sounds like a real, like they say, a romantical story. Yeah. But what about this girl you paid off? Yeah, you know, yeah, that's like yeah. it's a lot that happened that's a lot, yeah. to make this thing go away. Yeah. That some people will be pissed at the reconcile. So this see, this is where the, where we're gonna find out if this new love is real. Cause people gonna say some vile stuff. Yeah, they gonna say some stuff. And it, the question is, is them feelings that Charlie got for Mr. Davis when they start bringing back that up and being detailed about what happened. And finding out stuff it, that she probably didn't know. No, is she going to be triggered? And all that, that, that hashtag black love forever is hashtag <laughs> is I don't want this ninja no more. <laughs> so I, I thought that she was going to curve him when he said... You're gonna leave all you. Did you ever see yourself giving all of this up to come back to live to um live in L.A.? She was like, No, I got a call in here. I got I got some work to do. But you know, weekends in L.A. is fine. So I was like, Okay. I thought he was gonna say, I will. I'm we gonna, gonna build a house. We're gonna build a house right here. Yeah. Where are your daughter at when you making all these future plans? Yeah. But like I said, now we get a little bit of backstory on about Miss Billy. And her relationship with her dad, because obviously her father did not believe her when he's when she went and told him that Jimmy Dale was taking advantage of her. So it runs deep, which was which was very surprising, because usually daddies believe that. Yeah. Yeah. If another man comes and tell a daddy that another man is violating his daughter, he just goes plumb crazy. So I don't I don't know what place that prosper was in to not believe her, but. I, I guess know. we'll see as as it progresses. So that is that is a little weird. 
Yeah, but I, I'm 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 ready to hear more about this. Yeah, but y'all y'all let us know what y'all thought about it in the comments. If you like yeah. what you see and you are not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's free for right now. Yeah, straight from the VA, the dirty dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla, boom.